So this way, yeah. Mobile app design example. So um, actually, we have started mobile app design since week one. Yeah, with all the practices. Yeah, the my amazing calculator app. Remember. So uh, last week, because we we discussed about the 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 seven different types of categories or domain. So we have continued with web app design examples and now we are going back to mobile app design uh, examples okay so today we'll see uh, more examples and this week is related to qr code yeah how can we put in uh, design related to qr code into our design and also what are the things need that that you need to to be aware of yeah okay um all right so those who do not know what QR code is, maybe you can look at at there, at here. Yeah. So this is a QR code. It's actually real. Yeah. This is a real QR code. You can try scan and see what it is. Um, right. So before that, what have you learned from this practice? So I've given you lots of uh, different different design before this. Yeah, in our practices, I show you how uh, different uh, database can be located at different places, um, and the design is not fixed. Yeah, so there are different different types of design. So what have you learned? I give you these four diagrams right now. So what have you learned from this? Ah, Kaling, that's Kenda. Okay, welcome to software design course. Because, okay, um, so what have you learned? What is the moral of the story? Yeah, because this is already week five. You must learn something, right? So, uh, I give, I give you, I give you lots of advice. I share with you lots of different designs. So now it's week five. So what have you learned from all these practices? Something that instill in your mind. Hmm? Tak apa. Come on. Ada? Tak ada. Takkan tak belajar apa-apa. Every app has database. Are you sure every app has database? Hmm? We can have app without database. You know that or not? Maybe. No, it's not. Not. not it's not true. Yeah, that is not a fact. Tak betul. API, database, web server are linked together. No. If they there they are inside the the design because you have to have them, of course they have to be connected together. True. Uh, tapi what have you learned from these four diagrams, uh, or any diagrams that I've shared before? Banyak kan? Kita ada pasal web app pun ada banyak design ni mobile app from all the practices pun dah ada banyak juga. So from all that. What is the moral of the story that I try to convey to you? Something that you have to remember forever in your life. Apa tu? Takkan nak ingat API sambung dengan database sampai bila-bila tak? Dia moral of the story tu macam advice lah. Apa benda rasa yang I always mention, I always say throughout the classes. Hmm? Tak tahu. Each app has their own features. That is true. Each app has their own functions, their own features. So, so features ni, function ni from requirement. So, we can say that that is what we learn from requirement. So, from design block. Something like that. Apa benda yang you boleh relate kan? Diagram apa pula ni? Tak bersama diagram. Ni satu type je ni. Yang Xiaomi sebut tu is something that you should learn from requirement. Kan? Now we are on design class. So each app, each app has their own features. Each app has their da 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 da. Hmm? 
You dalam kelas apa ni? You dalam kelas apa ni? Come on. Nak cerita diagram, diagram masa SRS pun kita belajar diagrams. Benda yang I emphasize is like this design classes. Yelah design yang ni apa? Ayo, more of the story design. Apa more of the story-nya? What is the advice? Each app Yes, each app Each app has their own design And The design Is not fixed Each app Has their own design And the design is not fixed Meaning that um, Every app will have their own Unique design Maybe they have similarity with that app or maybe similar, similar with that app. But after all, they have their own design. Yeah. Sometimes they are so unique, nothing compared to that app. Yeah. But basically, every app will have their own design. Okay. When I say it's not fixed, meaning that you cannot just follow and copy whenever you answer an exam question, yeah, the final assessment question. You cannot just copy any of the answers or the, the the diagram that have that you have produced before okay so you have to read the story you have to learn the description you need to know what is needed what is basically inside the app yeah what is the story what the app needs what kind of hardware or software that is actually connected to that app okay so all story is different for every app all right so no fixed design, no fixed architecture diagrams, no fixed detail design. Everything depends on your story. Okay, so that is my advice. Something that you have to remember forever. Okay, so when it says it's not fixed, you cannot copy it, meaning that it has their own design. You have to create the design. So whenever you want to do the diagrams, you want to draw the diagrams. You have to know the description. You have to create the description if you don't have one. Okay? And from there, you can start drawing. All right? So the description in the, in the text, yeah, it has to be logical. And, of course, there are uh, architecture design or any design that you can uh, refer to yeah, as example. So there are examples of design. For example, today we are going to take Sorry, going to talk about QR code, right? So there are examples from previous people, yeah, from, pre, uh, from other projects. They actually share them through Google. You can Google them, right? So it's just an example, okay? So you look at the examples. You cannot just copy them. You have to look whether the story inside that examples is actually the same like yours. Does it fit inside your design? If it not fit, maybe you have to modify the examples before you can take them in, yeah? Or maybe you cannot use them at all because it depends on the story. So you need to have the story first. Got that? Okay. So if you got your final exam questions, you have to understand the story first. You have to imagine the app. What do you need? Everything. So that you you have that idea about the app inside your mind. Then only you can start doing the description and drawing. Okay? Right? Hopefully that's good advice for you. Okay, practice number five. We're going back to practice number five. So if you still remember, yeah, there are another new requirements. The last one, yeah. Uh, which is must use one of code technologies for a suitable purpose in the app. Okay, so there are many, many different types of code technologies. So we have all the barcodes, yeah, all the line line code, again. okay, and we also have QR code, we have ISBN code. So ISBN, we have product codes. So ISBN is slightly different from product code, yeah, because they have the standard for the code, yeah. Uh, as you can see here in the 
image here this might be the book yeah so you can take a look uh, at the back of the cover yeah the upper back of the book they will have that ISBN numbers yeah so this is the code this is the number up there this is the numbers okay the rest of this the line one is just we usually call it barcode but it's actually product code here yeah normally we have maybe for um we can have for almost everything okay and here is we have the qr code it's not line but it's something that we call qr yeah qr code yeah so you can use it for any functions yeah meaning that any suitable functions that can be applied into the my amazing calculator app so let's say let's say that the requirements team leave it to the design team yeah to decide because they don't have any idea so they just say that uh, it has to help uh, so that e the user can uh, get easy installation, for example, for example. So do you actually try this out? Any one of you have tried the practice five because I asked you to do it and share with me whenever I ask for it. Have anyone, has anyone do it? Has anyone done it? Uh, okay, so what is the function for? The QR code is useful. Untuk apa? Function apa? Uh, function untuk share the result. Share the result. Yang 4 tu. 2 plus 2, 4. And then, maknanya you scan QR code and only you see the results. Ah okay? uh, Yes. Oh, oh you want to share the result to uh, media social? Like that. Oh, you want to share the result to the media social. The mm, punya function is not quite correct lah. Masa sebab QR code maybe tak sesuai for that function ya. Eh. Um, tapi tak apa, good effort. So there's another one from siapa tadi? Shira. So, the second one, siapa? Shira Aisha. This, this is for which function? Ha, which function uh, is it for? You punya idea tu macam mana? Untuk apa? Hmm? Mana Syairah? Syairah ke mana? Function apa yang you rasa nak buat ni untuk uh, function mana? Sebab function dia tak tertulis dalam diagram kan? So you need to tell us function apa ni? Untuk tahu QR code untuk apa? Kenapa kenapa kena scan QR code untuk apa fungsi dia? What is the requirement? You letak je tak decide function apa. Sebab saya suruh masukkan QR code, you letak je QR code tapi tak tak tahu function apa eh. Ha, macam mana tu? Okay, whenever you want to design, you need to decide on the requirements first, yeah. So, function kena tahu dulu. Features nak buat tentang apa. Then only you can create, yeah. Masukkan code tu dalam design, okay. Remember, features or function comes first, yeah. Then only you can design, okay. Uh, sebab tu kita buat requirements dulu baru kita buat design. Tak apa, that, that's fine. Tu je, dua je. Okay, dua je. Okay lah, saya bagi dua-dua maka bonus for today. Okay, very good. Yang the rest, sila ubah attitude anda selepas ini ya. Okay, um, so let's get to this example. Okay, let's say, let's say. Okay, the function that we have to decide before we can design them, yeah. Okay, so let's say, because this is, um, you say that um, they're given uh, the, the authority for the design team to decide. So let's say, let's say, the design team has decided to, to respond to quality requirements, easy user installation. Okay, let's say the quality is for easy user installation. So they, can, they see that, okay, there is one possible way to use QR code in this, in this, uh, for the, uh, for the quality. Okay, so this is the reference that they use. Bukan they lah, us lah, kononnya kan, design team. Okay, so this is the reference. The, so uh, this is something existing, this is existing system. This is something that already somewhere. So we use this as example and see whether it can fit in our model, yeah, in our design. Okay, so dia kata how to book using mobile app, book room. Yeah? So dia kata install app. 
Okay, install app from Google Play Store. This is for Android lah ya. Yeah. Clicking the link before, below. So this is the URL link. So this is a URL link, one way. There's one way to install, which is by using URL link. So there's another way, which is the kata, scan the following QR code given here, yeah? So with your mobile phone, QR code scanner. So in this ad, we call it ad lah kan? In this ad, they have two different ways to install the app into their, their user's mobile phone. Okay, so we are using this as reference, yeah? So what we can do is, the quality requirement is about easy user installation. So the existing function that we have already from the requirement team is to allow intended user install the app through Google Play Store for Android. So I think you, all of you has this requirement. Yeah, most of you has it. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually add new function. So we have to tell the requirement people that we actually add something, yeah. So in this, um, newly added function based on the FR008 here. Okay, so we are not going to remove this. We will maintain this inside our SRS, yeah. But we will add in, you know, we ask the requirement team to add in another two requirements, yeah, to respond to their request that they give, they give us the, the task to actually decide on the QR code. Then. So we say that we, we can actually add these two function, yeah. Uh, and become the requirement. So the 8A, the first for the FR8 tadi kan, dah jadi A dengan B. Okay, so the 8A is by using URL link. Yang tadi ni, yang first ni. Kita gunakan reference yang ni, example ni kan. Kita follow dia. Okay, now we can also use QR code. So that one will be FR8B. Okay, so that's how it can happen. But it depends on the story as well. I mean, the story between the designer and requirements team, yeah. Uh, there are cases where, of course, usually they didn't give design tasks, uh, design team the tasks, yeah. Usually requirements team will actually complete it, yeah. So whenever they have this requirement, they actually have to do their homework and get the information. They, they cannot leave it to the design team, yeah. But in this case, it's a special case. So at, because we are in the design team, so let's take the scenario that we, we get the request from the requirement uh, to create that part, yeah. Uh, tapi kalau cerita sebenar dalam real life, tak mungkin, jarang-jarang lah berlaku macam ni kan, tak elok lah macam tu. Patutnya requirement lah settle, yeah, that is their part yeah, to find their functions. Um, lepas tu, um, but there are also cases where you are actually the one who do the requirement, also the one that do the design, so anytime you can go back and forth, back and forth kan. Uh, macam FYPU kan, kan rasa macam nak tambah, you can tambah kan. Uh, so, kalau macam tu, normal lah, biasa lah berlaku. Alright, um, let's get back to our example. So, to allow the end user install the app using QR code. Okay, so we, ha we have to ask ourselves, what are the things needed? Yeah, remember that the, our design, the, the architecture design, uh, is actually referring to the time where the user, when the user is using the app. So what are the things around that needed for the user when the user is using the app, is using, masa dia tengah guna. So what are the things needed? Okay, so usually that's what architecture diagram is about. What the hardware and software is needed in the environment to make the function, whatever function that the user use at the time, works okay so you have to answer that question you can start by listing the hardware and software or you can start by telling the story right away so it's your way you can choose either way so let's start let's try with listing the hardware and software okay so you can try the other way on your own Okay, so if you can look uh, at the reference, it's actually given that some clues, yeah? So the kata, pause the video, scan with your mobile phone, QR code scanner to install. So what do they need? What do we have to have inside our diagram for QR code? Apakah? Camera, okay, lagi? Kita perlukan kamera. Kamera bit lena dan dalam phone lah kan. Okay lagi. 
QR code reader atau scanner through lagi suitable phone, uh, mobile phone, alright lagi ada lagi tak? apa lagi yang diperlukan? internet, internet tu biasa kita tak sebut pun lagi internet tu default lah sebab dia mobile app kita tak perlu sebut ok lagi lagi apa web hosting lagi kita cerita hardware dulu ni hardware software ni pergi ke web hosting internet QR code QR code fokus fokus To make your code work, you don't actually need web hosting. It depends on the document that you want, yeah. The things that you you translate into your code, though. Lagi apa? Yang penting penting, yang penting penting. Apa lagi yang tak ada? API, API mana pula? Basically, that you know apa? Mobile phone, ada QR code scanner, nak kena ada camera. What else? Apps. Of course lah, apps saya sebut lah. We need QR code itself. Yes, correct. QR code kena ada lah. Kau nak nak scan apa kan? Okay, so QR code yang tu kan dia dah provide kan? Mana user dah boleh scan saja. So QR code tu kena ada. Okay, from here you can create the stories. Yeah, so let's say sebab kita nak kena relatekan all the items kan? Uh, yang mana connection yang yang orang kata strong connection with the other kan? So let's say the the description is like this. Okay, to scan the QR code, the intended user ABC tu nama app lah, must use a QR code scanner pre-installed in his or her mobile phone. Okay, dapat? So kat sini kita nampak dia punya kaitan antara QR code, QR code scanner dengan mobile phone. Yeah, the QR code scanner requires a camera pre-installed in his or her mobile phone. Okay, so here we can see the relation between QR code scanner dengan camera. And they both actually install atau deploy inside the mobile phone. Okay, so that is kind of um, description yang you nak. You can also use a simple simple sentences, yeah. What is the connection between QR code and QR code scanner? QR code scanner dengan camera. Okay. QR code scanner dengan mobile phone, camera dengan mobile phone. So you nak buat ayat satu-satu pun boleh because you need to to see whether there are strong relationship or not. Okay? Ha, macam QR code dengan camera macam jauh je dia punya connection kan? Ha. So by having this only you can uh, derive the link. Yeah? So that you can draw. Okay. So kita dah kata camera dengan scanner must be pre-install. So something yang yang kita kena ada kan. So it's part of the precondition kan. So dia jadi syarat. So kalau syarat kita kena masukkan dalam apa? Syarat sebelum guna. So kita nak masuk kat mana tu? Constraint. Kita nak masukkan dalam constraint. Ya. Yeah. Sebab kalau tak ada app tak boleh pakai. So they need to have that camera built in ya. Yeah. Kalau broken ke apa dia orang tak boleh guna lah app ni. Because it's the constraint of the app ya. Yeah. Dia mesti ada tu baru boleh function. Uh, and then scanner pun kalau tak dapat yang compatible buka buka tak boleh scan ke apa. Ha. So you kena dapatkan scanner yang compatible lah. Because there are many different types of third party scanner kan. So you have to try it out. So kena ada scanner yang function lah. Yang compatible with the, the app and the phone lah especially. Okay, so constraint number one. Constraint number two yang tadi lah. QR code kena ada. QR code kena ada sebelum tu. Jadi user masa dia guna, takkanlah masa tu baru kita nak generate di QR code. Dan biasanya kita akan pre-ready lah. Uh, so maksudnya dah ada. Alright, so itu dua akan jadi constraint. Ini juga akan dijadi tambahan dalam SRS kita. Okay. So this is how it should look like yeah like i said this is just example 
Kalau you rasa you nak ubah kedudukan ke, you nak tukar hubungan uh, kamera, contoh mobile phone, ada QR code scanner. QR code scanner guna kamera, kamera akan scan. Pun boleh juga. Okay? So it's not mesti macam ni. It depends your story. Kalau you rasa story you terbalik sikit tapi still logic. Fine. That's fine. Ya, yeah. kamera dengan scanner tu pun boleh berubah tempat. Tak ada masalah. Cuma hubungan tu kena jagalah betul. Kamera dengan QR code scanner memang dua-dua dah ada dalam mobile phone. Okay. And how about the dotted line here? <coughs> dotted line kat sini. Kenapa dia dotted? Kenapa yang lain solid? Kenapa sini dotted? In previous diagrams, I also actually use dotted line. So what is the dotted lines for? Untuk apa? You rasa dia untuk apa? Kenapa antara scanner dengan QR code tu dia dotted? For any reason. Include QR code include QR code scanner include QR code. What does that mean? Maksudnya QR code tu dalam scanner. Orang tengah nak communicate. Orang tengah nak communicate. Scanning process. Wajib ada? Tak wajib lah. It depends on your story. Kalau you nak tak solid boleh. Tapi mesti ada sebab dia kenapa you tak solid kan? Kenapa you tak dotted? Interaction QR code dan scanning. Masih belum interact. Bila dia nak interact? QR code depends on QR code scanner. Depend. Depend tu solid pun boleh ni ha. QR code scanner depend on camera kan. Ni boleh juga solid. So yang ni depend, yang ni jadi apa pula kan. Searching. Dia searching for QR code. Tak. QR code betul kita pun letak je QR code scanner depan dia kan. Tak payah jauh-jauh. Linking memang lah link. Kita pasal connection mestilah linking kan. Tapi link yang macam mana yang dia pakai dotted. Ni QR scanner ni kamera solid. Kenapa QR code scanner dengan QR code dia jadi dotted? Hmm. Sekejap saya check ada tak jawapan yang hampir-hampir. Hmm. Jawapan dia. Okay jawapan dia kan. Verify. Siapa pula nak buat kerja verify kat situ. Okay jawapan dia. No physical interaction. Semua mana ada physical interaction. Kalau aku scanner kamera ada ke? Dia main touch-touch pun tak ada kan? Kalau okay, aku scanner, you scan code. Okay. Um, it's actually about kita kata relationship yang kita tak boleh pastikan. Indefinite. ya, yeah? Ataupun undefined. Nak undefined dia defined tapi um, tak dapat tak yakin ada. Uh, complicated really tu dah bahasa budak Twitter lah tu kan. Uh, complicated relationship ya, yeah, not really. Okay. Um, dotted tu sebab kita tak pasti sama ada akan berlaku, dia depends on the signal, ya, yeah, depends on the process. Uh, signal diterima, ya. Yeah. Kadang-kadang um, signal tu tak ada. Kadang ada. Beza dengan kamera, kita yakin kamera tu dah ada dalam mobile phone. Kita yakin. Ya, yeah. And then kita kata scanner memang guna kamera Sebab whenever you klik kat scan tu kan Button dia akan keluar kamera kan So kita yakin benda tu berlaku Tapi bila kita scan the QR code Sometimes dia jadi, sometimes dia tak jadi Ya, yeah. ha. so disebabkan boleh kita yakin kita lah Kita letak dotted lines ha. So it depends on the on the uh, kata condition at that time Ya, yeah. kadang-kadang kalau macam internet ke wifi also If you um, perasan ya, yeah, uh, masa saya cerita pasal Apa tu? Bluetooth uh, I use dotted line Ya, yeah. kalau cuba check betul ke tak tak Kalau dotted line is because of this lah Dia related to signal Macam GPS, semua tu related to signal Ya, yeah. so kita tak tahu sama ada benda tu ada ke tak Kita tak nampak kan Sometimes ada. Lepas tu sometimes tak ada pula kan. Macam internet lah. Sometimes ada, sometimes ada. Kita tak perasan. Okay. It can happen. So that's why kita guna dotted lines. Ya. Yeah? Uh, bukan sebab benda lain. Kita tak yakin dia tu je. Tapi kita perlukan dia. Kita perlukan keadaan tu. Ya. Yeah? Tapi tidak sentiasa dia okay. Depends on the condition. Alright. 
So it depends. Kalau kata nak guna dotted ke nak guna uh, solid line also can. Ya. Yeah? Uh, tapi bila kita bercerita, kita nak cerita yang convincing. Ya. Yeah? Cerita yang based on our experience also. So if you can tell things like that, orang kata oh okay, dia memang experienced people. So dia tahu keadaan sebelum dia design tu, dia tahu keadaan tu, dia boleh imagine. Ya. Yeah? Error pada QR code, error apa pula? Sometimes QR code tak boleh dibaca, sometimes because of the signal, ya. Yeah? Tapi bukan sebab aku tu rosak ke apa. Hmm, mungkin juga kan. So it depends on the story lah. Sebab kalau rosak, kamera rosak pun tak boleh. So kenapa tak dotted ke situ kan. Okay, so next. Okay, now kita nak tengok tentang QR code yang kita kata constraint yang keempat lah. Ni rekaan semata so katalah dia yang keempat. QR code needs to be built. Jadi kita kalau kita tak biasa dengan teknologi apa-apalah sebab bila kita nak masukkan dalam design teknologi tu mesti dah ada. Tu kena ingat eh. Tu kena ingat. Kita tak boleh ambil teknologi yang orang duk sebut-sebut tapi benda tu kita tak tahu lagi. Orang pun tak share lagi macam mana rupa design dia. Tak ada pun example macam mana nak pakai semua tak ada. Dia cuma dengan bagi hint macam tu je. Tak boleh masuk dalam design. Ya, yeah. So you have to remember everything mesti yang dah sedia ada Yang orang dah pakai Ya, yeah. Tapi jangan ambil yang dah lama pakai Ambil lah yang later-later sekapa kan um, So dalam kes QR code ni Dia dah lama dah Kalau kita tengok kat sini QR code developer for 5 years Steve Briggs Daripada 2015 yang komen ya yeah. So now dah berapa Ya yeah. Berapa tahun dah hmm. Uh, sebab dia dah 5 years, so 2015 campur tolak dengan 2021 apa dah banyak kan So mana ni teknologi QR code ni dah lama Kalau ada yang tak faham tu pelik pula kan, you are right, sit down come on cari-cari maklumat tentang kod-kod ni Teknologi uh, Jadi you kena tahu cerita di sebalik QR code ni Okay, bukan cerita sebalik, bukan history dia, maksudnya macam nak pakai Apa benda sebenarnya QR code ni Okay, dalam case ni kita boleh refer, kita boleh google je. So ini contoh yang saya dapat sebagai reference ya, sebab kita nak fahamkan. I nak you fahamkan tentang QR code, this is one of the way. So Steve Brick kata, when you scan a QR code with a reader in your phone, the reader app translate their QR code into a URL. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so translate the QR code into a URL. Meaning that, Translate QR code back into URL Kan? Sebenarnya asal-usul dia QR code ni apa? Kalau dalam kes ni sebenarnya URL lah asal-usul dia Dia macam code dikod ya yeah? So dia codekan URL tu Ini based on comment uh, Steve lah Kita dia ambil URL tu dia codekan menjadi QR code And then masa kita pakai QR code tu That QR code need to be translate back into URL Okay, so cerita dia, ya dia sebenarnya adalah URL. So we don't need web hosting ke apa, kita perlukan URL ni. Uh, so dalam kes masa guna, URL tu dah ditranslate jadi QR code. That's why kita tak tulis lah URL pula dalam tu kan. Okay, so macam mana kita nak turn URL into QR code? Uh, so carilah macam mana nak turn, nak nak apa, trans, translate URL into QR code. You cari, you akan jumpa lah contohnya QR code generator sebagai solution. Okay, so that's how you learn about new technology. Hai, benda ni basic je tapi saya cerita juga ke you, kat you sebab ada orang yang dia memang tak tahu atau tak ambil tahu ataupun memang naif sangat, tak kena nak cari ke apa. So, this is the way how we can do it. Okay? Hmm? Alright, so we have all the information now. So, we have to decide sebab QR code ni kalau kita nak guna generator, there are reasons whether uh, kita kena tahu sama ada kita perlukan generator ni atau tidak. Ya? Yeah? Adakah kita perlu masukkan dalam design? If I leave it to you, what do you think? Adakah kita perlu masukkan QR code generator dalam design tadi? Ya, yeah, tidak. Nak masuk tak code generator dalam design tadi tu? Tak nak. Tak nak masuk. Kenapa tak nak? What is the reason you tak nak masuk? Kalau masuk bukan nampak lagi canggih ke you punya design? Kenapa tak nak masuk? What is the reason? Justify why on your decision. 
Kenapa? Sebab dah ada QR code. Okay? Sebab kita dah ada QR code. Sebab kita nak QR code. Ya, betul. Okay? Bagus. Okay? So, dalam kes kita tadi, kita cuma perlu satu QR code sahaja. URL link tu akan berubah. Ada satu URL address sahaja kan? Dalam kes tadilah. Okay? So, kalau macam tu, kita boleh pilih yang ini. 